Richard Smith is really earning that pension right now, taking a lot of heat. It was a contentious hearing from the get-go, a subcommittee of the House Energy and Commerce panel taking the former, now retired Equifax CEO, Richard Smith, to tax for allowing the private information of Americans to be stolen. Both Democrats and Republicans delivering the shellacking. Listen to Jan Schakowsky, a Democrat from Illinois, and Greg Walden, the Republican chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee. In the end, Equifax had had, has had to apologize for its post-breach response almost as much as it has apologized for the breach itself. Equifax deserves to be shamed. How could a major U.S. company like Equifax, which holds the most sensitive and personal data on Americans, so let them down? So here is what Smith had to say for his part, an apology. Listen. And as CEO, I am ultimately responsible, and I take full responsibility. I'm here today to say to each and every person affected by this breach, I'm truly and deeply sorry for what happened. All right, the CEO blamed human error and technology failure. That's a quote for the breach. Equifax board is said to be considering clawbacks of Smith's compensation. According to the Wall Street Journal, he was walking away with $18 million. Bill? Wow. Uh, do we know anything new about the people who had their private information compromised, Jerry? Yeah, you bet. Just out, Equifax revealing 2.5 million more Americans than previously thought may have had their information compromised in this security breach. The credit reported giant said on Monday about 145.5 million of us customers might have been affected. That's up from a previous estimate of 143 million. 